So how did you how did you get this terrible job? Well, uh, as you know, Chris, I do a food podcast you as do? well. Very so funny. Uh, I uh, I got to be a guest judge on Great British Menu a couple of series ago, and they obviously thought this guy can this guy can really take the heat. <laughs> This guy can deal with all the hurdles we're going to throw in his way. Basically, I can eat eight full main courses in a row without without sweating. Yeah, I mean, they do have to do a lot in the edit because I really go into a meal, you know. Yeah. I really get down into it. So I think a lot of the shots are of the top of my head and I make horrible food noises, but they, they make me look good. OK, did you ever think in a million years you would be doing this as part of your illustrious career? Absolutely, absolutely <laughs> you not. you can't believe it, can Every you? single day I'm there, I sit there thinking, this is it. I have so I must have done something great in a previous life yeah. because this is the ab- the best career I could have And they're going to find got. out, I mean, imposter syndrome must be off the charts, with respect, because we've all been in that situation. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, because I'm on a panel with Nisha Katona <laughs> and Tom Kerridge. I know. Tom's got, you know, two Michelin star He's restaurants. He's got all the Michelin stars. Yeah, and then Nisha has got an in, insanely popular uh, chain of restaurants as well and yeah. is a brilliant food writer. Uh, and I'm just sat there going, oh, well, I just like dinner. That's- <laughs> well, which is what we want, isn't it? Because you represent us, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. Is that the, is I, that I think the that's idea? The, ge- the general idea. 